Good morning! Today is finally here. I haven't marked this day on my calendar as the day that I'm doing all of my Christmas decor shopping. So I've got some things to pick up. I've got some orders to show you of things that I have gotten from like Amazon and stuff. So we're going to be running errands today. We are going to be Christmas shopping. We're going to go to Walmart, Target, and at home, I think. And we're just going to browse around. But I am making breakfast right now. I'll show you what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm gonna make some coffee. And I actually, first things first, I need to order the Christmas prints that I got from Etsy. So I need to send them to Walmart to get printed and then we'll go pick them up today. But I'm gonna make breakfast and then I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna get the Etsy prints ordered. And then I'm gonna show you some things that I've already gotten from Amazon. And then after that, we're gonna go out and about today. All right, for breakfast, I've got a fried egg going. I reheated up some bacon that I cooked yesterday. And then I've got a little yogurt bowl going on. So I love the Coco Gin brand for yogurt, like a dairy-free yogurt. It's got a lot of really good healthy fats in there and it's very clean. It's a very good clean brand. And then I also added some chia seeds for some omega-3s and those healthy fats. And then more so for kind of like the crunch and the flavor, I added some sprouted hemp granola. So I've got a little yogurt bowl, mainly for healthy fats. And then I already had a protein shake already, so I'm just gonna do one egg instead of two because I'm already like a little bit full. And then I've been wanting to share how I've been making my coffee recently because I have been making it like a latte and doing like two shots of espresso and then filling the rest up with like oat milk. And recently I've been making it more so of like an Americano and diluting the espresso shots with some water and making it a little bit more like a classic coffee that's got more water in it. So I actually do now have a code with Purity Coffee, which is so exciting. If you've been here watching me for the past few years, I've been drinking Purity Coffee since I started my health journey because they are a mold-free, toxin-free coffee company. So if you use the code BERESTORED20, you get 20% off your first order. But I'm gonna show you how I've been making my coffee recently because it's come out so good. I got this out just to show y'all that they have these little sachets and essentially it's like a coffee tea bag and they come in little sets of five. If you are curious about trying out Purity Coffee, I'd probably start with something like this so that you get the feel for like the flavor, but it's really quality coffee, but I'm gonna be using the coffee beans. So what I do is I do two scoops of beans in my little grinder. So essentially two little espresso shots. And then essentially what I do is I take like a mug and I heat up, you know, a mug full of water and then pour the two espresso shots in a standard mug. So I've never like measured it out. And then I just sweeten it like normal, either with maple syrup or honey or, or whatever sweetener I've got on hand. And then a little bit of oat milk and it's super yummy. So insert the cute little montage of making coffee. my order for the Christmas prints so they should be ready in like an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to open some packages from Amazon that have some of my Christmas decor. I got some of it yesterday delivered and then the rest is supposed to deliver today. So whenever the rest gets delivered, I'll also go through what I got. I also wanted to open these because I think some of them are the ones that'll have batteries and they need batteries. So before we go to Walmart, I wanted to make sure what batteries I needed. Okay, item number one, these are little fairy lights. What I'm thinking is that for these shelves, I don't really want to have like actual Christmas lights and I needed something that was battery powered because there's no like outlets. I'm thinking I will kind of put little fairy lights behind the picture frames, behind the baskets, kind of behind running along the little wall to just kind of create a little cozy glow. So I ordered these and there's four of these. So each one 
is its own little individual strand, which is great because I have four shelves. So I got a pack of four so that each shelf could have its own little pack. So let's see if we can turn it on. Ooh, wow. Whoa, okay, I don't like that one. Ooh, a little, a little fade in, fade out, all right. <laughs> no, my eyeballs. Okay, last one is plain. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see, next thing is these <gasps> candlesticks. Okay, <gasps> look how pretty. I love, oh my gosh. Okay, so where's my other box? So I ordered some of these, yes, okay, these guys. So these are also fake. They're fake candles, battery operated. I feel like I've seen every influencer posting about these fake candles and I've been so curious about them. But, let's see, yeah. Oh. So I ordered like a handful of candlesticks. All right, these need AAA batteries though and I don't have any AAAs to play around with but i've seen these many times on instagram like all over the place and they look really nice like on people's mantles and stuff they look really good so i was really curious about them i also ordered these in two different colors so they have like this crisp white and then they've got like an off-white ivory and i think those are arriving later today in my like second order man i might just keep these in general because how pretty are those then i got some shorter ones got these little gold ones so these are a little bit shorter than the crystal ones. So I was thinking if I was like trying to stagger the height of the candlesticks. Ooh, those fit perfect as far as like size. See, don't you? That's cute. Ta-da! <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go and then we'll just swing by Walmart whenever the prints are ready. But I can at least start off with like at home and Target. So let's go ahead and go Christmas decor shopping. <laughs> Okay, so apparently my order got split up and some were pickup and then one of my prints was apparently like a shipping order. So <laughs> I like stepped to the side and I tried to like cancel the one that was supposed to be like shipped because it was also gonna ship to our Athens apartment and we don't live there anymore. So then I basically just walked around Walmart for a hot minute trying to see if I would get the notification that that one print was ready because I canceled it and then I reordered it to do pickup here. And so I walked around, saw the Christmas stuff. Oh wait, I just got a text message. Maybe this is them. <laughs> I haven't left the parking lot yet. I was so close to being like, I'll just leave and I'll come back whenever the print's ready. But I think I just got a text message saying it's ready. Also, just a word to the wise for all my ladies out there. I got to my car and there was a piece of paper rolled up in like my door handle. And I've just seen so many warnings out there and like sketchy things about, you know, things that look like parking tickets or things that are kind of like stuck anywhere on your car can be laced with drugs. And if you touch it, you can, you know, go unconscious. And then someone who's either been watching you or whatever can come snag you. <laughs> so I was like, I saw that and I was like, nope. So I unlocked my car and I have little like sleeves. So I like didn't touch anything, but I put my stuff in, in like the back door. And you can also just use your passenger door and like crawl over to the driver's seat, but don't touch that stuff. Don't touch any random stuff that people stick on your car. Not today. I'm not getting taken today. Stay safe out there, ladies. I'm gonna go pick up my other print. Okay, I got my print. As I was walking in, there was a man being tackled to the ground and arrested. I'm a little stressed. Ah, we're gonna go to at home. We're gonna look around for Christmas decor because that's cheerful and fun. Actually, I think I'm gonna go to Target. Target is where I have very specific things that I've seen um, like on Instagram and stuff. And I wanna see if our Target has any of them. So I think I'm gonna go to Target instead. And then we'll go see what the candles look like. I got batteries, so we'll see what the candles look like and kind of get an idea for how it's gonna look. Kind of like this, a classic. <laughs> Are you 
you kidding? These are five dollars. What? That's the cutest. Look at this little chapel. Stop. I mean, I have to get these. Five bucks? Oh, what a steal. Okay, I am back. I decided to go to at home after Target because once I found these on such a steal from Target, I was like, you know what? Let me go to at home and see if there's any cheaper options to the stuff that I already bought on Amazon. Also, I love that these already have batteries so you can really see what it looks like. Guys, these were $3.50. So they were $5 and then apparently there's like a Black Friday sale. So each of these were $3.50. How cute are these? I love these. And then from at home, I just got some of the little holly berry branches. So these were $2.50 each, but my Amazon packages delivered. So I'll show you the rest of what I ordered. And then I'm also going to show you my prints. So I'm gonna get those out in just a second and show you all the prints I got. All right, let's see, package number one is this set of like the faux fur branches. These do not look long enough, but they might work, yeah. Okay, so this one had a little bit like longer leaves, but they do not look, eh, they're a little bit taller. I mean, is that fine? They kind of look like they're just sticking straight up. Cause like these guys are long, like these are supposed to be for a base, you know? I'm actually gonna film a separate decorating video this weekend and post it this weekend. So stay tuned for what I decide to do for this. And then I also got some other little candle holders I'm about to show you. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so these are the little crystal ones that I was telling you about. And this one came in a set of four. But again, I'm not sure like, oh, actually that fits pretty well. Yeah. So this one definitely goes down farther. So the candle's a lot more steady. This one fits like a glove. This one's definitely steadier. And then this one, it's like the candle can't go all the way down. So it's like extra wobbly like these. But these two kind of work. I was just trying to get different sizes so that if I kept them, the tops of the candles would be kind of staggered. Okay, these are the ivory ones. So you've got like the ivory versus the white. I'm thinking I like the white. Okay, I'm gonna put some AAA batteries in these and then we can see what they look like. Cute, okay, you see that? Ooh, they flicker. Oh, I love. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, what a literal vibe. <laughs> I mean, if that's not cozy, I don't know what is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> These are giving very Harry Potter vibes right now because it's still the orange fall leaves, but Harry Potter's a vibe too. Let's see. Is that too much? It's too much. I'm honestly loving the candles, maybe more so than the little fairy lights. Okay, the candles for sure have to stay. I can't give up the candles. The candles are too much. They are perfect and wonderful and I love them. Okay, let me show you the prints I got and then you can really envision the candles, you know, by these pictures. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pristine. We're gonna start with all the eight by 10. So we have this one. Cute little tree. So that little tree is going to go up top with this cozy little winter snow house. Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> it's all the vibes. Again, I'm gonna actually do a decorating vlog, so I'm not gonna do all this today, but I wanted to get everything ready and decide on what I was gonna keep so that I can decorate this weekend. And then we've got these two by the same artist. It's a little Santa Claus, little kind of like antique Christmas tree fireplace, very homey, okay, very cozy. Vibes, right? Like Santa by his candle, vibes. <laughs> I got this cute little snowman, a little bit different, but I had to have him. He's so cute, I couldn't resist. And then this set was also by 
it's a little artist. So they got little Santa sleigh, little Christmas pine. So they're gonna be paired together, a little five by seven, eight by 10. I think that's it. I think that's all the things that I got. I can't get over these. I think these are my favorite purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link everything down below that I can find from the Target stuff, the Holly Berries from at home, the stuff from Amazon in case you also want the vibes. I'll link it in case y'all are getting ready to decorate for Christmas too. So I'll link everything and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, this coming Saturday, I'm going to be posting the decorating vlog. So stay tuned for that and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am going to be doing 12 days of vlogmas is what I've decided. I'm really gonna try to pump out some Christmas videos and I've already have a list of all my like video ideas that will be very cozy, very fun, all like Christmas themed. Um, there's a lot of things in Dallas that are like very Christmassy and like activities to go do. Gluten-free, dairy-free, like Christmas treats to make and baking. So subscribe because we got a lot of Christmas stuff coming up. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin'.